Flames ripped through a duplex overnight, leaving nine people without a home. And we are learning police have taken over this investigation into what caused that fire. CBS 4's Ty Russell is in Northwest Miami-Dade with the latest. Ty. Carly, in the last 30 minutes or so, Miami-Dade police confirmed to me that their arson investigators are trying to look into what caused this fire. Now, flames started on the left side here of this duplex. You can see the heavy damage right there. Now, meanwhile, one father is wondering what he will do for his little son since his Christmas presents and most of his clothes were damaged in that fire. The Christmas trees and stuff, yeah, they're all gone now. It ain't no more Christmas trees. It ain't no more nothing in the house. Vin Dyke Michael watched flames rip through this Northwest Miami Dade duplex. The fire destroyed the Christmas tree and the presents this father had for his one year old son. Michael is thankful his girlfriend was yelling for everyone to wake up. My girl came and she was like, she was yelling so loud, like, get up, get up, get up. Michael says the worst damage is in the unit on the left side of the duplex. That's home to four people along Northwest 101st Street, which is west of Miami Shores. Disaster was completely. Michael lives in the unit on the right. That's home to a family of seven, including three small children. And Michael says he tried to go back inside the duplex during the fire to make sure everyone got out. I'm going to go back inside so I could get my grandma and my other kids inside. I mean, my sister kids inside, but the police was not having it. It was holding me really tight. Everyone else managed to get out of harm's way by going out the back of the duplex. It's been worse, like you said, but thanks God it didn't get up to the other house and we didn't really lose everything, but most, most of the things is gone. The back of this car, which was parked nearby, was damaged by the heat from the flames. Miami Dade firefighters say they got the call around 1230 in the morning to fight flames. The last unit didn't leave until about six hours later. And now the Red Cross says it is helping the 11 people who are looking for a new place to call home. And Michael hopes long term they'll be okay since they all have each other. Thanks God they're still alive. I'm alive and thank you. Now, Michael says he believes someone may have been playing with a lighter. That may be the cause, according to him. However, arson investigators with Miami-Dade police and Miami-Dade firefighters are working still right now to determine the cause. But for now, we are live in Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.